Good morning. My name is Anna and I'm one of the core surgical trainees at the Great Western Hospital. Today, I'm going to talk about our novel project looking at the long-term outcomes of frozen shoulder post-manipulation under anaesthetic. Frozen shoulder is a common and debilitating condition characterised by pain and stiffness of the glenohumeral joint. There are multiple management options for frozen shoulder, but MUA is thought to offer a safe, effective and minimally invasive treatment. However, whilst the short to medium term outcomes of MUA are known to be favourable, there is currently no literature looking at the long term outcomes, something our study aims to address. We looked at a cohort of 398 patients who underwent MUA for frozen shoulder at a single centre by a single surgeon between 1999 and 2010. All participants were invited to complete a survey about their health and shoulder at a minimum of 10 years after their initial MUA. 240 complete data sets were obtained. Of these, 207 patients were non-diabetic 10 had type 1 and 13 were type 2. The primary outcomes of our study were Oxford Shoulder Score, taken before, immediately post and 10 years or more post MUA, self-reported recurrence of frozen shoulder and the development of other shoulder pathology, namely shoulder arthritis, rotator cuff tear or shoulder instability. Firstly, looking at Oxford Shoulder Score. This graph shows three box and whisker pots for the distribution of Oxford Shoulder Score before, immediately after, and 10 or more years post MUA. As you can see, this graph demonstrates a significant and sustained improvement in MUA at long-term follow-up. Recurrence of frozen shoulder is more challenging as the definition varies. Our study used self-reported recurrence, so we are likely to overestimate. This graph shows the percentage of shoulders reporting recurrence for each diabetic status. As you can see, the majority report no recurrence of frozen shoulder, and the majority of recurrences do occur within one year. Many studies hypothesize that recurrence within one year of initial disease is likely to represent a continuation of the original pathology rather than a true recurrence of frozen shoulder. This time frame is thought to be further prolonged in diabetic patients. With this in mind, the recurrence of frozen shoulder at greater than one year is minimal in our patient cohort. Looking at the development of other shoulder pathology, this table demonstrates the number and percentage of patients in our cohort who go on to develop shoulder arthritis, a rotator cuff tear, or shoulder instability. As you can see, for each condition, the percentage of patients developing these pathologies does not differ from the general population. In summary, our study provides the first evidence that MUA for frozen shoulder is a safe and effective treatment in the long term. We demonstrate a long-lasting improvement in Oxford shoulder score that long-term recurrence rate is low, with only one recurrence after five years, and that there is no difference in the development of other shoulder pathology compared to that of the general population. Many thanks for your attention, and I look forward to hearing your questions.